Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 549. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550. Hey, we have an exciting video here. We want to see how to do data validation drop down like we did in our last video. We just want a drop down like this to select from an item in the list. Except for here, we want to be able to add new records to the bottom. Now we're going to do this two ways. We're going to do it with the table or list feature and the offset function. The table and list feature is very easy. The offset method is less easy. We'll start with the table feature. All right, I'm going to um, click in one cell. Field names at the top. Uh, records are in rows. There's no blanks. And there's blank cells all around the data set. In 2003, you can use Control L. In 2007 and 10, you use Control T. Control L still works. When you create a table, this is the official Excel table feature, the ranges are now dynamic. So if we highlight these ranges when we do data validation or in our VLOOKUP, they will be um, the ranges will automatically um, expand as we add new records. Now let's go ahead and add data validation. The keyboard shortcut is Alt D L. I'm going to allow not any value, but tab L, a list, tab, and then I'm going to highlight this range right here. A7 to A10. Remember that A10, because we'll come back and look at it after we add a new record. And it will expand. All right, so then I'm going to say sunshine. Now I want to do the uh, V lookup here, equals V lookup. And I want to get the price. This is a data set, right? V lookup. I'm going to click right there, comma, table array. That's this whole. So we want the VLOOKUP to take that value, race through this table, first column, find it, sunshine, and then jump over to the second column, one, two. So for the uh, column index, we put a two, comma. And finally, for the last argument, uh, we want exact match, because we want it to find the exact word. So we put zero. Now notice that says B10. Now let's just add a new record. The way you add a new record to a table is you come to the last one and hit tab. Don't have anything below it, right? And this is the great quad boomerang. And that's uh, uh, made in 2010, so that's a that's an expensive one, 40 bucks. Now, let's go ahead and see if it expands here. Sure enough, it's there. And sure, oh, and the V lookup. Now look, there it is. It says B11 here. And we come Alt D L. It says A11 there. So the table feature, list feature, totally awesome. Now, let's see if you don't want it to do it this way, and some people don't, they want to, want to do it with offset. Uh, no problem. I have some notes up here about offset. Offset is a function that, um, hey, my formatting is not. my. Anyway, I'll fix that. That's a list of the details I'm going to talk about right here. Um, offset. What we'll do is we can, uh, in a cell, say equals this, right? And we see the range G7 to G10. Well, the offset function is programmed to deliver a range. And if you uh, construct the arguments correctly, it can be an expandable range. Let's just go ahead and see in this cell right here uh, what the offset will do. Now when you enter the offset into a uh, cell, when it has a big range, it doesn't really mean much. Later we'll go and put this into a defined name, and then we'll use our name in data validation and in our VLOOKUP. Equals offset, and offset has five arguments. The first one is, hey, uh, where is the starting point? So I'm going to always start right here because we want to have a range here. And I'm going to hit the F4 key um, up in the name so it'll, it'll automatically put in uh, absolute references. Now, next argument. From this starting point, how many uh, rows do you want to move down or up? So really, you can actually move. You can have a range that moves all over the place, but we don't want any. So we can just leave that argument out. It, when I put, if you type zero here, it means don't move from there up or down. If you leave it out, it also means zero. Comma, columns, left to right, do you want to move from the starting position? Mm -mm. I'm going to type zero or leave it out. What is the height? Now, here's the trick. How are we going to get an expandable height? Well, we're going to use the counter function. And there's lots of ways to do this. 
since I know my list is never going to be more than 50 uh, to 100, I'm simply going to say count a, uh, and count a uh, counts non uh, cells that are not empty, right? So it could be words or numbers. So I'm going to highlight this down to say 100 and something, all right? Now the other thing about this method, and people get in trouble with this, is they'll type stuff down below their list, and then that will totally mess up because counter will pick it up. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. So right now, if I were to highlight this, and hit the uh, F9 key evaluate, four. So offset says start here and count four. One, two, three, four. The height is going to be four. Control Z. Now the width, we can leave it off because if we leave it off, it's assumed to be one. Close parentheses. Now this is the formula that we're going to use up in our define name. I'm going to highlight it and hit the F9 key. You can see it delivers the values. Um, in memory, it will deliver the range. Control Z, and I'm going to copy. I'm actually going to enter this here. It'll give it'll give me just the first item in the list. Or actually, that's a funny thing about names. I'm going to move this down here. Now it'll give me a value error, which it should do. Now we're going to go up in define names and paste that. So I'm going to use Control F3. Control F3. I'm going to say a new name. I'm going to call this products. I already have a name of products in this, so I'm going to say product list. And I'm going to come down here and no way. You can put a formula down here. So I'm going to highlight this very carefully. Hit the delete key. Type uh, equals. Oh, control V. I didn't copy it. Escape. Control C. Escape. Control F3. New. I'm going to type PL. Control V. There we go. Now click OK. Now we could check this right now by clicking this, and sure enough, it uh, works. I'm going to click Escape, Escape, Escape. And just for kicks, I'm going to come down here and type a quad. I'm going to Control F3 just to check it, and click on PL, and then do my little trick. Click right here. There it is, expandable range. Now we can go here and go Alt DL for data validation, tab to get to that, L to get to list, and then I'm going to use my F3 key to paste a name, so PL. So now we have an expandable list. If I get rid of this right here, it goes away. Now what about the table if you want for VLOOKUP? I'm going to slightly amend this right here. Right now it's, um, move this right here. Right now, everything's right except for if we come to the end, the last argument with, if I type a comma, it needs to know how wide it is. Now, if your table is, um, our table is only going to be two, so I'm going to put a two here. However, you could use the same logic here, count a, and we wouldn't be able to have this right here, and count how wide it is. So I'm going to put a two there. Now, if I highlight this, copy. And I'm going to hit the F9 key just to look. Now it's got the whole table. Column means column. So I went from Bellin to 22 across the column. And then semicolon means goes down to the next row. I'm going to click um, Control Z and Enter just to keep that there. Control F3. And I'm going to call this uh, PL table new. Or just P table for product table. Come down here. Highlight it, Control V, click OK. Test it. Oh, look at that. Again, you would not use 2 to hard code it in if it had a dynamic uh, width also. I'm going to close. Now I'm going to come up here and do a V lookup. Lookup value, comma. Now the table, I have to paste a name, so I'm going to use F3. PL table, that's a dynamic uh, range in the table now. Comma, column index, one, two, it's always two. 
comma, we need to do the exact matches with the last one, zero, close parentheses, control enter. Now let's just go ahead and try it. Quad is 40. I like the table feature because it brings down the formatting. And then I'm going to say um, sunset. And that one's 35. I'm going to do a little trick here. Watch this. I'm going to copy this down and destroy it and then point to the smart tag and point to the smart tag and say fill without uh, fill formatting only. So I just got the formatting from above. Okay, now let's try this. There's the sunset and boom, it's working. It's both of these are dynamic using offset. All right, so uh, dynamic data validation either using the offset function or the uh, easier table or list feature. All right, we'll see you next trick.